trial run with the Alice Who Stayed character. Uh, I'm using a very bright green eyeshadow. That's because it's supposed to be in contrast to Mad Hatter's orange. Wrapping up the um, Michiana Renaissance Festival, it's bittersweet. We got to see really fun people. We got to run into one of our con friends, someone that we'll be seeing at the end of September in Ramen Con. Um, but it's not just the fact that there's a lot of stuff to box up that you know makes this kind of a letdown at the end. That's the um, well, you never have your first run fair again, um, and now I've had my first run fair in Wisconsin, but this is the first time that um, Deb and I have actually vended a run fair, though I do now have that off the bucket list. That's very cool, but um, I don't know. I didn't get to do anything I wanted. Um, I didn't sell anything <laughs> of my own, um, but I was super excited because Dad did really good in sales and Dots and Crew did really good on sales and that was really fun. Um, it was kind of a hard weekend, it's hot out, um, and I got stung by a bee and I had made a joke about an Amber Heard bee earlier, like it was so big, it was an Amber Heard bee and I somehow feel like maybe, maybe, like, Mother Nature was like, you know what, that one was had it hard enough. Here, let, let, let's have an amber bird bee bite you. But at least it's not the one I'm allergic to. So that's good. Um, trying to work on the, uh, the whole older Alice in Wonderland, the Alice who stayed. Well, I was able to find that perfect eyeshadow combination. Um, I have not been able to find a great costume, um, although two hours of research when I was supposed to be sleeping does tell me that chances are I can put a full white apron over this. It should help a lot. Alright, mad love my crazy internet friends who probably would be walking this thing with me if only Indiana were the place you could get to through like the air.